Well, you know, there's been a big shift from the times when uh, we, in my field, were medicating patients without their consent to the times, uh, I would say, over the, my career of 20 years, uh, once I got my certification, where you look at the medications and they have become increasingly more safer without serious side effects. So when we talk about forced involuntary treatment, to my knowledge, the Department of Mental Health is the one that regulates how this mm -hmm. process is mm -hmm. carried out. Um, how these other places are carrying it out, I don't know. And the reason being is when you force medicate somebody, you, you have to monitor them very closely for any adverse outcome. You remember now you're putting something into somebody mm -hmm. against their will and they're going to have a flood of catecholamines running in their system, you know, and, and so they need more intensive monitoring.